Oh, Shimmer brought Tiger in. Oh my God. All right. This one, look, I'm not, very few times I'll say Tiger can turn the tide, but this might be one of the few key instances where a well-placed Tiger with German air support could hold the line. Hello everyone, I'm Grayshaw17, and today I am covering a 3v3 uh, on to Brook. Yes, we are on a Company Pros, one of the newer Company Pros 3 maps. Oh, I'm sorry, it's to Benghazi, not, not to Brook, sorry. I was thinking to Brook, that was another map in my 4v4 map maker contest, which you can check out in the Steam Workshop. Small plug-in. Uh, what we'll also give a plug to are these players. We got ourselves Desert Fox, uh, CPT Easy, Azamari KKMC. We got ourselves Pez Doliz, uh, Shimmer, and Russian Drill. Two Vermach, one Doc, versing three, no, two British and one American. So we'll see how things fare. But if you have a great game in Co3 or Co2, uh, please submit to me in my Gmail and Discord down below. Hopefully I don't hit the microphone there. But yeah, uh, right now I cast these live on Twitch, but then I also get a better quality version up on YouTube for everyone to see. Uh, if, as long as the game is good and I have something I can talk about. Up oh, right now we're engineers. We're gonna push back those pioneers. They have better stats overall, and these guys need to pull back. Again, pioneers also very, very cheap, so that makes sense. Uh, Ronnie, I just realized that you are, uh, where you are, because right now it's still morning. It is 10 a.m. where I am recording right now, so give you an idea of where I am. Uh, just the essential U.S. But... Uh, right now we got ourselves some good engagements by the Brits. They are successfully taking the middle point, the fuel point, though it is costing them a lot of other territory that they could easily grab. Up north, the American is trying to grab what he can. Uh, let's see. Doc is moving up with Panzer Grenadiers. We're not seeing the, you know, big push by, um, uh, Burst of Leary. I feel like that's very common. Uh, approach, but no, uh, Panzer Grenadiers, they have been getting some buffs and some additional things to make them a little more, uh, <laughs> likely to be used, because again, it's, it's one of those things where Panzer Grenadiers are just, I, uh, it's like, what do you want? Fast moving infantry that you can slowly up their ante and make them even more potent? Or Panzer Grenadiers? Every, everyone's like, oh yeah, Burst Larry for all the win. Uh, scout units get into the building before the, uh, Burst Larry can, I'm sorry, Panzer Grenadiers can, but they get in the next door building. And now we're gonna fire at each other from the, the windows. Now again, both are good cover, Panzer Grenadiers should win that, but it will be a small delay for them in order to beat that. The real fight is down south, we have, uh, again, we have Grenadiers moving in, infantry section, nice MG placement, uh, pushes back and forces Shimmer to retreat his Grenadiers. Activate the ability, by the way, so you guys can see who is who. So that way it's like, okay, who are we watching? It's it's very confusing. So, again, uh, it takes a, it took a little while for them to get that stuff in patches. But hey, it's finally there. NG, by the way, again, it hasn't really fought anybody too much. Has about four kills. So, not too shabby. Has managed to keep this area, well, mainly free of the Allies. Mainly. Uh, so again, they're concentrated up here. Maybe they want to get themselves a mortar, which CBT is getting. Up north, we have pay Oh my god, what is this rifleman squad doing? Just charging on in behind enemy lines. Ah, yes, the best strategy. Good idea. Yeah, flamethrower squad's gonna help burn him. I would jump in and maybe chase him. Maybe we get that kill. Again, you have these pans- uh, Sorry, riflemen. Uh, let's see if I switch over to Desert Fox real quick, which- It's weird Desert Fox is the American, but anyway. I- uh, he does not have grenades, so again, these guys can't exactly uh, chuck a grenade and stop um, them from being chased at the moment. Oh, okay, so we actually have some commanders. Okay, well, armor battle group, so we already have veteran crews, but he's yet to go the veteran crews. That's interesting. Doesn't want to go with the assault engineers, but he's getting vet one. Again, not bad. I like veteran uh, veteran C1 for units because, well, y you're able to go and uh, get some additional abilities, like maybe... Um, look it up really turn the tide. Uh, I, th again, Bazooka something I could think of would be for a Sherman, right? You could get that white phosphorus or high explosive sh uh, shot. Uh, close range infantry, again, I Desert Fox, I don't know what you're doing with these deep charges. But so far, you're throwing away infantry, and right now the enemy is easily pushing forward. I'm a s nice shots across the board. MG might be able to kill it, but he's focused on the flamethrower. Smart move, because he does not want to die from a flamethrower. Because, uh, again, that's super effective against guys in buildings. With the FG section, they managed to force him back. Can they get a kill? It is a weaker unit. Doesn't have as much health. 
And he does survive. Oh my god, he has like two health probably. Anyway, so let's continue on with our commander follow-ups. We got it oh, again with the Indian artillery. Pretty solid. Lots of uh, good infantry bonuses plus heavy explosive shots. Uh, we got uh, Az Azri? Azri. Let's see. He's gone with it. Oh my god. Did they both go? Well, I mean, if it if it's succeeding, keep using it. Yeah, Indian artillery seems to be the main focus. Good for them. Again, for the dock player, we have armored support. So maybe we see a large contingent from the Air Force come on in. Re By the way, I really enjoy the Stuka dive bombs now. They are really damn effective. All right, we have that artillery coming in for the Brits. Uh, trying to blast away the NG and whatnot. Great ears around the side, although do a little bit of a high ground advantage with Pioneers, even though the, they really, really don't have the range. But, hey, it's, it's something. Interesting choice for AT rifles, but again, you want to make sure that you don't get hit by, uh, I don't know, a, a light vehicle of any sort, any 8 rads that might pop up. Let's see. Specifically, uh, again, we're looking here, not too much. I'm, he's gone with the truck, so again, you could probably get some additional resources, which he is doing right now, not too shabby. And then, what's the last guy? Russian drill, what is he going? Mechanized, okay. So again, there is that possibility for 8 red, but she's halfway there. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna stay with the same player so that way it stays more common with everybody in terms of who has what where. MG being flanked by a flamethrower, burning him down. Very nice, nicely done. Let's see, great ears as well, just managed to sneak behind for the back lines. Uh, all these units are mostly support, but they are fighting. We got even infantry, though they do have the AT rifles, make them slightly less effective. You, Again, unless they have the, uh, what's it called? The, the infantry bonus, which it can make them better, even with the AT infantry upgrade, but uh, doesn't look like they have that. Great ears, though, are still holding, but again, there's just so much support infantry that they're going to be pushed back. All right, what are you doing? So the American player has more riflemen stuff moving on up. They're trying to lock down this territory. We have a 50 cal just blasting the Panzer Grenadiers. But again, I would move up this guy because if you move up, you can flame him. And in case you're like, oh, great shot, he could just lock you down and just open you up with the MG. That's true. But if you keep moving back and forth, it's hard for him to actually get like a stable front. You can just burn him to death. It only takes like three shots, I think, with the flamethrower, four at most. So... Uh, again, scout unit's gonna pull back. I feel like Desert Fox is not living up to his potential. I feel like he's definitely one of the weaker aspects. Again, guys in buildings, as long as they're focused here, uh, I, as soon as they fire the, yeah, as soon as they fire that shot, I would move up and start flaming them. Oh, wow, we have a whole mechanized group coming on in. I mean, that's the dock in a nutshell, but still, I mean, we have another half track. We, we're bringing up support gun. We have the flak verling coming on in, so we know what upgrades he went. There he goes, he moves on in, but again, the bazooka already... Should be free to fire. Support gun, though, is definitely lighting him up. Come on, burn. No, he pulls back. All right, now get back in that vehicle and hit that MG. Because there's no more bazookas, right? I mean, yeah, maybe a snare. He does have bars, so I'm assuming you'll have grenades here soon. If he doesn't already. All right. We got that. Uh, oh, my God. That concrete bunker's on his last leg. Mortar's trying to blast the Brits. But the Brits do have a forward position here. Uh, to heal with a nice truck. Again, they can heal their heavier uh, mortar thanks to the the Indian Artillery Battle Group. So they got one of those. We got normal mortar over here. Do we have a second heavy mortar? I don't see one. Uh, no. But still, again, a decent amount of infantry with G43s. I, I know, look, I know Brens are more damaging, but I like I, at least one guy with G40. Uh, no, I, I, see, I said G43. Damn it. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, no. I, I, I prefer them with the rifles just because of the fact that uh, you get the artillery that I personally like to help blast. I get with the Indian battle group you can you use that a little bit more natively, right, with the off-map off bear burst. But, personally, I like having infantry. Just have it. Um, and, also, the other reason that I really like this is the fact of the flares. I like knowing what the enemy is going and having the ability to see that personally to me is always a huge win uh, again that way you can anticipate something encounter such as what this guy's doing because if you can try to get close you can maybe try to kill that half track just bust through the, the barrels and all the cover 
And again, they can knock out that fuel. That'd be a nice win. Again, resource-wise, allies have 33 fuel per turn. They're doing quite well. Compare that to the Axis, where I'll go to an Axis player that doesn't have caches down, and they have 22. 45 munitions, though, uh, compared to 35. So that's not bad at all. And that's probably going to be because of this southern point. Though the British are slowly taking, them uh, taking it back. Half track again, trying to maneuver. But walks right into the AT. Man, just real bad. Oh, the MG saved him. Okay, MG coming in clutch today. Still early for Grayshaw. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as you can tell, my uh, this is the first game of the day. So, going to need... I, I don't I don't really drink coffee, but it's like I, I need my brain to wake up in replay mode. So. A mortar fire just wow. Oh my god, just smacking that after. Was that I'm assuming it was the AT rifles. If not, did that Did that mortar get the I feel like the mortar is just annihilated that after act. Hot damn. Also the MG's down, which is a free steal for the Brits, and they have the fort position here, so they don't have to retreat. German forces from Pad's Grandiers and uh well normal grandiers are moving on in though mg is suppressing they're gonna need to drop some smoke or something but only if that german player had smoke uh, only if only we are losing control of i break oh here comes the smoke although we have gurkhas with thompson's i'm not i there, will they be able to hold this off no there's too much infantry here but they gain good cover and throw good grenades they could absolutely cause some damage it looks like one unit already retreated MG is repositioning. Pads Grenadier is trying to blast their way into the building. Grenades miss. MG is right there just in case. That building is very close to collapse. Uh, pay attention to the health of buildings, boys and girls, because, yeah, the last thing you want is put a full health squad in there and it just completely falls apart like it's about to. I think he realized that and he got out, so that's good. The dock is just absolutely uh, preparing, preparing for a counterattack. Again, we have two of these guys. Again, not the biggest fan of the um, this upgrade for the flak up top. I think this flak is better. It's look, it's something. I'm not gonna say it's not nothing. I just am not the biggest fan. MG is gonna pull back, and looks like that north is completely open um, with the American player falling back. Again, he's gonna need to do something a bit different in order to actually win. Uh, Sherman tank, again, they're getting enough fuel for it. Which actually brings up a very interesting question. Why is... Oh, nice fire. Burns away a lot of the British forces there. Opening up the corridor to A, a free a Vicar Steel. Okay, uh, a lot of free MGs. But also just causing havoc behind the lines. MGs trying to suppress all the infantry. Uh, but they did take the head... Oh my god, they took the Indian mortar. Okay, that's gotta be a win. 8 Rad is still doing quite a bit of work. Slowly trying to wear them down. Now you have the Panzergraders coming in. Looks like the South just got utterly uh, devastated by air support and a good flank. So, excellent job. Infantry section did put down those men. That's unfortunate. Mortar did pull back. And British are trying to... Oh, here's grenades. Goodbye, sir. Oh. He took a lot of damage, but still has four models. Probably will be down to two by the end of this. Uh... Very low on health, but does manage to get on through. All right. So, again, excellent counterattack by Russian Drill uh, with and also uh, Shimmer. They managed to take over the southern point. Now, can Aziri and Captain Easy counter? Well, uh, they have a lot of infantry, but my question, more importantly, where is the armor? Like, you have 242 fuel. I feel like armor should be coming out, like, now. Like, what, what is happening? You should absolutely be pumping out this. That way you can get yourself, um, a nice grenade. Oh, uh, no, sorry, nice mine. But yeah, you, you, th there's plenty of resources. You can get out armor. So, that's a bit of a misstep by him. Now, again, that Sherman with additional veterancy already got my phosphorus to could help, uh, block certain, uh, units or vehicles from firing. Yeah, when they were on top of, like, when the of all that stuff. One white phosphorus shot would have been very well placed. Love them uh, flanking in. We have the, oh my god, blob of blobs with the American force. Just charging. Got behind the AT gun. Kill that. Or, you know what? Go after the vehicles. That's fine too. Desert Fox having his uh, have his comeback. And, uh, uh, Pizdul is, is, uh, definitely in full retreat mode. And now there's free vehicles that the, uh, American player could grab. Hell, 
Recovery vehicle. Just, oh, ne well, never mind. Just dash those hopes and dreams, Desert Fox, why don't you? But, yeah, the north is uh, definitely not looking good for the dock. I'm sorry, you have that much fuel and you get yourself a goddamn... Stewards? Really? 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 Like, I know, look, I had a Stewart spam video. I'm not saying that it's not popular, but why? Just, just why? All right, we got Neville Warfare firing. Like, okay. At least we got a Matilda. Is it, like, my choice? Maybe not. But, versing what the Doc, doc and the Vermok currently have? Uh, yeah, they, they're gonna have a tough time penetrating this bad boy. Again, 300 front armor, and uh, hopefully he can get some additional upgrades. Personally, uh, maybe just get some Crusaders to support that. If you want to go bigger, badder, and firepower, maybe you get a Grant. I really like the Grant. But whatever the case may be, at least get some armor. Half track going with our Silver. Okay. Oh, here comes the British artillery, I assume. The Indian artillery, the off map that's coming on in. I'm assuming that's Captain Easy. Or, no, no, it's from Recon. So he did it from his own unit. Nice. So you can start, just start pounding that area. Causing him to reposition. Up north, the American player is still advancing. Uh, smashing uh, Pistoli's small counterattack. Where is his Sherman? Excuse me, sir. Where is... Did you lose your Sherman? How? From the guy with bazooka. Oh my god. Well, fire's cut. I swear to god, you're gonna burn to death on your retreat, aren't you? Stude from Shimmer coming on in to try to force him back. The Desert Fox, you are not. Alright, at least the bazooka shots are actually getting good shots. And for some reason, he charged on in. He's gonna be grenade. Please tell me you got grenades. You did. Oh, okay, he threw it. I'm like, why is he throwing it? You can absolutely throw the bazookas in. Or, sorry, keep firing bazookas while he's pinned and unable to retreat. Uh, sure, but at least the American player did grab most of the territory. Victory point wise is definitely in the Allies' favor. Axes are down. Stuart! Oh my god, that's the second one, isn't it? Yes, it is. He got two Stuarts. And he got a bishop. Interesting strategy. Light, ar light armor for the front and the heavy artillery in the back. Sure. MG helping to hold this area, but again, you are playing with fire, man! You are playing with fire with that. At least Desert Fox got another Sherman, so that's good. Alrighty. So, beyond the Dead 8 Red and everything else that is currently falling apart for the Germans, uh, for the most part, uh, we got... Oh, is that another? We got two Matildas. Man. Uh, Thick Boy. <laughs> he is really getting the, the absolute, uh, you know, the, 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 the armor with the most, I will say that. But again, most likely with that, he'll be able to easily... Uh, uh, what, what am I thinking of? He'll be easily able to deal with a lot of the infantry. And not have to worry about his troops being like, Oh! Oh, they have an 8-red! Or they have a, you know, a martyr. Oh, okay. Well, good luck. And as shown right there, can absolutely devastate infantry when they don't have any cover and they're all blobbed together. So, excellent job. British forces flanking, trying to kill that vehicle. There's now really nothing stopping these Matildas from just rushing on in and absolutely devastating the enemy. Artillery's moving on in with the Stuarts can cover. They can probably blast this man into oblivion. Did he get another? Okay, got a stew. That's, that's, wait, is it? Okay, it is a proper stew. You can see the barrel. It's not artillery stew. Oh, we have a uh, air support coming on in. And unfortunately, Matildas are slower, so it does. So it's harder for them to escape. AT guns are right there. Artillery is. Oh, they're smashing right down. The bridge continue their advance. Air support might help kill one. They did get the upgrade for uh, the armor, so again, every veteran, uh, all the veterancy stuff does help. They're dropping smoke to hopefully stop the planes from shooting them. Planes are at least taking the one that has more health. Pull back! Pull back, please. Sir? Sir! I'm asking you to pull back. But that was a good push. I do like that push from the Matildas. Now, if this other... Oh, my God. If this guy comes in, he's screwed. I feel like these guys don't know what the retreat button is. Stu is going to probably one-shot this man. Uh, 
What? Stoop! What are you doing? Oh my god. I, I, okay. This should not be as close as it is. This should not be, oh my god. Well! I, I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not it. Fire, stop move, okay. I was gonna say, use the AT rifles, please. Stop moving and use them. At least this dude died, but uh, two Matildas dying? That's not a, it's not a great position to be in, sir. And I swear to God, you lost your ar you lost your armor again, didn't you? You lost your Sherman again. Well, I, it, you know what? Code three, code two. It's been a while since I've seen a blob this massive. So, hey, good for him. Good for him, I guess. I. All right. Just. It's just, it's just one of those things where it's like, really? Really? Okay. So, uh, moving on, I, I, I guess. Oh, boy. Infantry's moving on up. Uh, okay. Defensive line right there. We got ourselves armor that needs healed. Could have chose that to heal, but nope, he went tank commander. I mean, look, there's plenty of good stuff with tank commander, but the thing is about it is, you need to move up and heal your men. Please. It's, it's, it's simple stuff. Okay. Uh, victory point-wise is now being contested thanks to these Panzer Grenadiers that have the bazooka. Sure. Blob is moving on in to engage. Uh, at least the Panzer three is there. There's an MG as well that can suppress that Blob. He realized that at least the Blob pulls back. So, this is a dumb Blob, aka Blob that is so many units packed in that they're all kind of going in like a pack. But still, it's one of those aspects where it's like, come on, man. Like, can, can, can we separate a little bit? Another Panzer III coming on in. This one uh, does have some vehicle kills. So I'm assuming that's what killed the Sherman earlier. And we go over to uh, Ms. Dolly's uh, real quick. What are your upgrades real quick? We do have the vehicle repair. We have additional tungsten rounds. And we have a, a ton of dead Americans. Oh my, I look away for 10 seconds and you lose most of your infantry. All right, that was actually a decent strike. And that, not a bad idea to have air support with armored so that way at least you have something to help break through the lines with your armor. The problem is, uh, the problem is good, sir, is the fact that you still, you're still walking into an AT line and you're like, yeah, that's a great plan. All right, Hellcat at least pulls back. We got ourselves another Matilda that is uh, doing some good work. So they at least have the victory point over here, down south. The uh, Aziri at least has the southern point. So the Germans are definitely on the back foot. They're trying to fortify because we can see the additional uh, defenses there. So, okay, they're, they're playing defense. Eight rad, not what I would choose, but okay. Uh, you know, it's something. Nub Warfare is firing. I guess trying to hit that border, but it's going to reposition. Um, here come the Stuarts. Again, uh, right into a pack line, so I can't wait to see how this one goes. Probably not well. I mean, I would absolutely take it. Also, if I am, like, I know the Doc player probably doesn't know, but, like, there's a Matilda down here. You got a Stew. You got yourself another Matilda. Like, salvage that if you need fuel. I mean, okay, right now he's doing pretty well, but it, or you can take it. Like, having a thick uh, unit to kind of cover against the American might not be a bad idea for your Panzer III's, you know, uh, to help out your Panzer III's. Uh, MG section are holding there. Heads great here is pushing them back. Again, Matilda, wow, another Matilda. I mean, they have the fuel. They've been holding the fuel for most of the game. Now they cut off the Germans in the south. I feel like this is about to be, uh, the, the, a major point of arty here in a second if it, it's not going to be so already uh because they're all contrary there if the british gets sight which by the way hey as the wait is he calling in a fire strike really uh interesting choice not trying to be that guy but uh i don't know why you would call it in there that seems like a really delayed reaction But yeah, I feel like if I'm this British player... Oh wait, no, no, he lost... Did he lose all of his recon? No, no, there's still some. 
I, yeah, I would have reconned this so that way you can have sight and then you just call on everything. It's just latency. I, I don't think it's latency good, sir. I don't think it's latency. Artillery is raining down absolute hell on the front. British forces pulling back. Panzer Grandier's grabbing the territory. Again, Germans are down, uh, even though they are winning in the north. We have a Panzer III army moving on in. Why is the Desert Fox player not the guy being the doc? I feel like this is a... a ma oh, and they have... And they've overwhelmed the American. They've engaged the American before the infantry were there. Oh my god. Easy kill. Hold on, if you can pull back, that'll be better. Oh! I, I love it. Uh, this this German player is like me. I activate the uh, the special ability because I believe it's speed boost. It's not. It slows down your unit. It's counterintuitive to most co players. Again, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just different. And there he goes from the AT grenade. Yeah. I mean, not bad. You managed to kill at least one Hellcat, but uh, you did lose two Panzer III. So actually, that's that's pretty bad considering your fuel. That's uh, pretty bad. So uh, moving on, the American player is slowly pushing on in, and as soon as that Hellcat's back, he can probably definitely go toe to toe with that Panzer III. I love the AT guns moving on in. What are you doing with AT guns against infantry? Down south, we saw those Matildas. Uh, we got another Matilda by Captain Easy, plus of course the Stewart. So, uh, yeah, this is, um, definitely a, a game where I don't, I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think you're gonna win this. Axis, unless you really start getting, so, like, unless something pops out that may just to turn the tide, I, I'm just not seeing it. Panther, maybe? You have, maybe, the resources for it, but you are getting what? Oh, Crusader. Ah, yes, I remember the Crusader. From the German side. No, no. Um, I don't know why. It's just popping up there. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Shimmer? Maybe save it up for... I feel like the Tiger and the Panther are what these guys are saving up for. I don't know if that's truly going to win them the game. But it is something. Like, this guy's not even close to getting armor. In terms of, like, a Tiger tank or something heavy. Does he have the upgrade, actually? That's a good point question. No, he does not. He doesn't have armor reserves. Okay. Report in. The Huns are on 200 points. All right. Captain Easy moving on in. Down south, we still have the bridge. Uh, yeah, okay, they're grabbing the territory back. The Put the pressure on. Put the feet to the fire. Because, again, a 200-point lead. And in this game, uh, that point lead drops like that. Uh, luckily, Matilda uh, and the uh, Stuart are... Help them clean up some of the infantry. Uh, air support, though, coming on in. Ah, uh, yes, Russian more armor. Good idea. I think we're about... Yeah, massive British counter push here. Fire's coming down, but again, I don't... That's not going to do too much. Although the air support for the anti-armor is absolutely doing something. Oh, Shimmer brought Tiger in! Oh, my God. All right. This one, look, I'm not, very few times I'll say Tiger can turn the tide, but this might be one of the few, key instances where a, a well-placed Tiger with German air support could hold the line. Eight red does go down, so uh, there's still that issue. And there's still a large amount of Matildas. But right now, that Tiger needs to move south, although he's going backwards, so my hopes are being dashed at the moment. Yeah, the German army is just falling apart. Air support's still trying to do what it can. Ah, the Moonwalking Tiger. I remember that one. It's the one the Allies captured, right? Close range double warfare, kind of missing. All right, Tiger tank does have advantage. Again, it does have a lot of armor. So this Matilda, even though it has more rear armor, its main gun is uh, lower quality than the main gun of the Tiger. So it's got a harder time penetrating that. As you can see, with the bouncing shots on the front. So, we'll see We'll see how that goes. Tiger managing to kill the infantry section. Uh, can we finish it off, please? 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 Oh, thank you. And now this other Matilda's like, I have made error. I'm leaving now. 
Although it does not have great speed, so Tiger should be able to finish it off. One last shot. There it goes. And we have a Panther. We might actually see German armor of a higher quality turn the tide of a battle. Just awesome, awesome stuff. I know, it's shocking. Royal Engineers trained and ready to go. A strategic point is being overrun. All right, Tigers on standby. We have air support coming on in. Oh, good bombing run. Uh, American's still losing quite a bit. Did he lose? I swear to God, he lost both Hellcats, didn't he? He did lose both Hellcats. I should just assume every time I cut back, there's just new American armor because it dies. German armor, I see no reason why he doesn't engage. Again, he does have the easy eight, but, I mean, Panzer three, just one or two more shots and it's, it, that thing is done. Uh, like that infantry, it's done. Again, penetrating it would be the only issue, but looks like he got a side hit. Get another side hit. I think he's good. There he goes. There goes a EZ8, which is a uh, quite expensive unit to lose. Now, don't worry. I'm sure this American player has tons of resources. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, he actually has a decent amount of fuel. Manpower, not so much, but he does have fuel. And he's got himself another EZ8, so not to worry. Uh, down south, though... It's a little bit more of a mixed bag. We still have, uh, we have a Panzer IV. We got ourselves a Tiger, now up to almost Vet two with four vehicle kills, and a Panther. So, those Matildas, while they're great, uh, until that point, now that the enemy ar enemy has something that can pen that armor, uh, we're at a point where it's like, uh, we're gonna start seeing a decline in its overall effectiveness. That's why you get something with higher penetration, like a Crusader. Wait, what? Oh, right, the British don't have tank destroyers. So what do you do? Simple, good sir. It's called a 17-pounder, and you can bring that baby anywhere. I, I love this thing just bounces off the side. It's like, I'm sorry, what? Luckily, AT rifles and other things might be able to bring down this Panzer III. Oh, I actually penetrated that shot. Good job. All right, armor is finally healed. They have the victory point down south. The north is pretty much secure. So really, the British are going to need to focus everything they have, in my opinion, down here. Now, the Germans don't have a ton. If we look at, like, overall population, it's 58 and Russian drills on the 54. The Brits are at 83 and 91, respectively. If they concentrate, even with weaker armor, if they can flank it, overwhelm it, artillery it, they should be able to win that battle. Especially as they just lost that Panzer to what Kelly consider would be an infantry unit walking up and just kicking it while it's down. So, excellent job right there, uh, Captain Easy. So, uh, they're grabbing that territory. Uh, the American player is... Oh, he's actually helping down south. Okay. Ah, just like the Desert Fox. He's maneuvering around where the enemy wouldn't expect it. But he's... I did kill the truck, which I'll give full credit for. And he is at least grabbing some territory and causing hell for the enemy. Doesn't this have a sound? Anyway. Well, it's dead now, so I guess no more questions are needed. Uh, Tiger is still needs to be a little caught. Oh, there's a 17-pounder. Oh, my God. He has... If he has this baby hooked up here and just starts lobbing shots against all the armor, I could absolutely see... A, you know, a just a wonderful, a wonderful occasion for the Brits. But again, that's if you have planning and foresight and able to anticipate where the where the enemy is and what they will do. Um, oh, but he, unfortunately, he doesn't have a recon ability. If he only had uh, an ability for recon, you know. Oh, he, yeah, he lost it. That's 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 why. Uh, whoops. I'm sorry. Did he build artillery? No, he just unlocked it, I guess. All right, so you got a 70-pounder here again. I would have placed it here to overwatch this position. But what do I know? I'm just a guy who's played Co for nearly a decade. All right, Tiger Tank is pulling on back. We got American forces actually forcing them away. The Doc player is slowly coming back, but I think he's just 
not sure what's going on. Just trying to grab territory. But it is a decap, so they are cut off. We have the Matildas sneaking in behind the Panther. Again. Uh, this... Oh my god, is the Panther about to go upstairs? I, I love it. I love this. And up we go. Fire is coming down. Oh, and British artillery. Just everything is coming down. And uh, air support, thanks to the doc once again. Guys, I, I think you should focus on the armor, not the infantry. Especially pioneers. Now we have the Panzer threes down here too. Uh, there goes the Matilda. The easy gate is probably... Probably should get out of there. Uh, not bad with the Matildas pushing on up, but now you've angered the uh, the Panther. And the Tiger, while injured, is still in a good enough state where you can probably engage. Oh, and there's Panzer three behind the British line, so they attacked. Oh, are we about to see a fierce counterattack here? I mean, I 100% would like this. Oh, there goes fire. Last, last mortar shot before he died, I guess. Panzer 3 getting the hell out of Dodge. 20. Again, I told you to get out of that building. I didn't say that. All right. 22 kills. Uh, does have plenty of mines, but is still somehow alive. Uh, with 34 health remaining. And they're managing to grab all the territory. Okay. So, um, the British could have easily grabbed that, by the way. They, they could have grabbed that because Matilda's pushed up pretty far. But I guess they forgot to send infantry there, so... I'm not saying this is regrettable, but this game is definitely of a, of a lower... It's like a mid-tier or like lower mid-tier kind of team game. I'm not seeing the, the biggest strats. Uh, except for some players, yes. Others, no. Like, some misclicks I see for the dock, but, like, there's other times where I'm like, what, what, are you, what exactly are you doing here with these Matilda charges? What, what's the what's the idea here? Uh, okay. Well, we got a nice choke. Uh, well, we have a nice position here for any armor that's going to come in to just get decimated. Heads right here. Pushing on against these assault engineers. And I like assault engineers, but they're not going to beat Pants right here from range. Probably should have stayed back and fired without the easy gate being within sight. Just, just saying. We're losing Pants, oh, sorry, I said Pants to Grenadiers. Grenadiers creating the territory with their MP40s. Oh, Strobe Trooper moving on in, smashing that MG to bits. And now we're seeing the uh, Germans slowly but steadily lowering the gap so that we, that way they can overtake the lead. Now Boar first firing, but again, uh, I feel like that... I feel like that shot was a little old, or that, or in terms of the information they received. Yeah, they're desperately trying to hold that. British artillery is coming down. Matilda is showing its rear to a panther. Uh, buddy, I don't think that's a great idea, but you, you did kill the infantry. They are massacring infantry. I'll give them full credit there. Can't discount the Matilda's ability to kill infantry. Now, a tiger's ability to kill Matilda's, that's also not in question. They drop smoke, but the Tiger and Panther will probably just chase. Because why wouldn't they? There it goes. Just being absolutely demolished right now. But actually, the Matilda lived. Is it the Matilda with higher kills? No. And it still died. Oh, god damn it. Well, we have a Tiger Ace. I'll, I'll give credit. Seven vehicle kills. This thing is absolutely mopping the floor. Come on, Matilda. At least get something. Get at least get that. There we go. Damn, those, those things are monsters versus infantry. But Tiger is still holding. Got plenty of kills. Panzer 3 doing its best to assist. Again, I feel like this Doc player is going to slowly pull back to make sure the three points under his control. He might try to flank. But I feel like his goal is to actually go deep and go around. But these Panzer 3s are actually, well, for the most part, in decent health. So they should be able to take a, a single unit coming in on the, on the side. Up. Oh. He was trying to hit this, but the building protected it. That's 
quite funny. Fire coming down. Maybe easy kill. Nice! Again, my biggest issue with the Nubble Warfare is the fact that it can burn infantry, but it doesn't get those kills. I feel like that should be a, a metric it should be reading. Like, the fire itself should be part of the unit's kill feed. Just saying. That way you can help get veterancy, because I feel like it's hard to get veterancy with that thing. Alright. Panzer uh, 3 moving on up. Grabbing the territory again. Uh, cutting off the north. But with so many Panzer threes, to oh wait, hold on, another easy eight. Interesting. Hold on, multiple easy eights. That might put the Panzer threes in a bit of a tough spot. They are trying though. But again, this thing has 130 front armor. The Shermans have 195. But air support will be the decisive factor in this battle. And while one goes down, I feel like the other one might be able to hold up. All right, this might actually not be a terrible idea. Oh, air support comes in, one last shot, come on! There it goes. Woo! And, while, and again, another Panzer III as well coming on in against Desert Fox. Oh, air support help killed it, damn! No stragglers, no survivors. All right, decisive battle, again, I love that. German player is in a bad situation. He's like, oh shit, what do I do? Called an air support, easily turned the tide, and won himself the battle. Uh, just like this tiger. Again, uh, so is it is it the most interesting strategies? No, but at least it's something. I'll take anything, right? Listen, I had to watch, and I'm not even joking when I say this, I had to watch Twilight Eclipse yesterday. My girlfriend is slowly making me watch all the Twilight films. And, uh... I will say this, none of the Twilight films are good. The first one is, I, I hate how it looks. It's so dark and pale, it just looks bad. Um, and then, yeah, this, the story consistently is bad across all of them. I should be very clear with that. Um, New Moon, I, I don't care for. It is unintentionally hilarious by like the force ghost that is constantly ending up killing the main protagonist. That's great. Uh, yeah, and then how bad that whole relationship is. In this movie, it's it's not unintentionally funny, but there's just some there's like a cynic, cynicism to it, or like it's very like it, someone knows how shit the movie is, and they're at least making fun of themselves. That's the one glimmer of hope I have in that final shit. But no, it's just bad. It's it's just so bad. Uh, anyway. While I was talking about that, uh, Tiger and everyone managed to hold on to the position. They still need to grab it. I don't know why it's... Wait. I don't know why it's... If you look down on the mini-map, you can see it's it's white, but it's not. It's actually blue. So, obviously, that means that one side is cheating. No, no, no. Okay. They just need to grab the territory. <laughs> it just got delayed for some reason. All right. So, the Allies do have victory points, but if the Axes see this and they're like, yeah, send everything. Send a Brumbar, send the Panzer Threes. And again, the Panzer Threes can grab the territory. So, they'll need some serious AT to blast those Panzer Threes off the position. Oh, it's because I selected it? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay, that's good to know. I didn't even realize I selected it. Th thank you, Ronnie. Coming in clutch. Just like these Panzer threes. This one, by the way, is 23 kills, three deaths. I mean, I mean, three vehicle kills. And we finally have a Tiger. Oh, wow. Yeah, Matilda's like, oh, shit. What the fu- Did you guys see that? The artillery went right through the Tiger. The hell was that? I, I saw it. It went straight through that man. That man was uh, ghosting. Uh... Sorry, I had a game on this map where someone accused me of cheating. That's why I'm like, yep, obviously the guy's cheating. Obviously. Obviously. It was not, it's not because he played better. Grenades and everything from the Tiger's uh, grenade clearing ability uh, helps out quite a bit. Uh, Artillery hitting the uh, Brumbar. Not bad. A T gun in infantry section trying to hold back that Tiger. But Tiger does not care, even though 70 pounder will rip it apart. Oh no, don't tell me it's gonna die. Not the tiger! Oh no. Okay, Brumbar diving in front. 
takes the shot. Uh, I don't know. Okay, delayed hit there. Double no, River hitting the back. Uh, Matilda actually kills the uh, Tiger Grace. All right, other Tiger kills it, and the Germans pretty much have victory at this point. But hey, uh, not, not bad. Again, they at least got the Tiger Ace. There's plenty of Shermans down here. Not sure why the American uh, doesn't assist. I feel like he's some easy kills. Special uh, 70 pounder is uh, decrewed. Again, you can recrew it. This man is dancing over the body. Poor shame. No, he's taking over the the, the uh, equipment. All right. But why though? We have a push down south against the Panther. Panther is holding actually quite well. Good play, German tank. Very good tank, and the kind of Storm Tiger is good. <laughs> no, it's like, all right, uh, Tiger pushing on in. It's like, oh shit, he got overwhelmed. That David, that's fair. Again, artillery's coming in. And there we go. It's like, you're pushing on in, and it just falls apart. Oh, God. That's that's fair, though. It's like, what, what do you say to that stuff? What do you say? All right, so at least we got an after-action port here. I'm very happy. You mean you got to think it. Exactly. It's like, hmm. what's It's it's a pretty much like Goku brain. It's like, all right, fight good. Yes, let's fight. Uh, but yeah, also, if I, if I am misconstruing my words that's also it's my first game we're about to jump into code 2 which should allow things to go better but i'm actually happy i have an after action port here because yeah that was actually not bad i mean that wasn't a good game that wasn't a great game that wasn't a, but it was it was an okay game that's that was what i'll say at least the germans weren't complete incompetent in the act the allies weren't completely incompetent they were just not necessarily pulling out the best equipment bringing out the best position or using the best positions to their advantage right like, if the Matildas would have pulled back after engaging that initial armor, they would have actually been in a really good position. They would have brought in Crusaders, uh, rushing in, uh, uh, uh yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like you could have absolutely repositioned a lot of stuff. I will say, uh, the Germans definitely killed a ton of allied armor. Uh, I love that Tiger Ace, that, like, Vet 3 Tiger was just cleaning up the Matildas not and stop. That was good. Top damage goes to Piz, uh, Julies, and again... Great job, and thank you for submitting it, uh, in terms of holding the north. Though, I will say Desert Fox was a complete imbecile. I, I love how the fact that a competent dog player was not named Desert Fox. Whatever. Um, yeah, he... I, I don't know what the hell he was doing. Um, top kills for the allied side goes to Aziri. I, I never played Code 2 or Code 3, but I look so... But I look so... I, what? I, I don't understand. I don't know that one. But, yeah, top damage and top kills goes to him. Top kills for the uh, German player was, yeah, Pizzoli's. And actually, best KD overall. Damn, he got over a 2.0. Yeah, overall, uh, again, I thought he was the most competent player in the North. Definitely had some situations where it didn't go in his favor. But I feel like that's more, like, judging by how he clicked that button, I don't think it's necessarily because he's a bad player. I think it's just his Co 2 brain kicked in. And he tried to hit the, you know, blitz away. And, unfortunately, for Co 3, the blitz is not blitz. It's an increased fire rate. And uh, accuracy, which unfortunately slows down the armor as well, which is like, oh no. <laughs> I feel like so many Co2 players who play Co3 have lost the armor because they tried the blitz away and it just slowed the unit down. But hey, what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. This is Gray Shot. I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is Gray Shot 17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyro Shark, Tony B95. Epic Pleb, thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.